I could always find a reason why a man was not my style. He was rude or crude or stupid or he didn't ever smile. You are kind and charming and the model of restraint. Just what I was looking for. That is my complaint. Won't you please do something stupid so I can get over you? If you really cared about me, it's the least that you would do. The perfect man's not in my plans, I've got too much to do. So won't you please do something stupid so I can get over you? At the dinner table, you did not show me your scar. You did not say you were in movies and I could be the star. You didn't show up with your toothbrush, expecting you could stay. You never asked how old I was or how much I weigh. Won't you please do something stupid so I can get over you? If you really cared about me, it's the least that you would do. The perfect man's not in my plans, I've got too much to do. So won't you please do something stupid, so I can get over you? I wasn't looking for a boyfriend to make my life complete. I was happy with my Irish setter and my parakeet. Do you have to be so handsome? Do you have to be so sweet? I was sure I'd set my standard for someone I'd never meet. I never date comedians because they never laugh. Or anyone whose love letters are not at least a paragraph. Or someone else's boyfriend or anyone named Steve. Or anyone in high school. But you are none of these. Won't you please do something stupid? so I can get over you. If you really cared about me, it's the least that you would do. The perfect man's not in my plans, I've got too much to do. So won't you please do something stupid, so I can get over you. One of the delights of my new voice is that stuff like this, instead of being secretly gay, is now really obviously joyously gay.